C. Lindelof videos, particle motion. I, I actually love this problem because it makes me rethink everything that I say or, or how strongly I should word something. So usually I say to people who ask me, see, if you see average change, I say, forget about the cal calculus and just go straight to average rate of change formula, which is f of b minus f of a over b minus a, right, will give you your average rate of change. However, they caught me on this problem because here they told me that this is the position function. So I'm like, okay, this is the position function. And they want to know the average rate of acceleration. So the average rate of acceleration, where the average rate of acceleration has to be taken from velocity. So here I am forced to do some calculus. So I learned my lesson. So I have x prime at t is the velocity function, v of t. And I'm just going to take this derivative. 3 times 2 is 6 t squared minus 2 times 3 is 6 t, right? I think gives us that function, doesn't it? Uh, then what I'm going to do here is this. I, I, I always do this. I'm going to clean this up and just say, okay, v of t is equal to 6t times t minus 1. I can solve for where this thing equals 0, but I don't care, to be honest with you, because what I want now is they gave us this interval, and they want to know what the average rate of acceleration is between here and here. So I'm going to use this formula up here, and I'm going to take x of... 3 minus x of 0, right? 3 minus 2, right? Over 3 minus 0. I did my work here. This turns out to be 36, and that's why I did it this way. Uh, 3 times 6 is 18. 3 minus 1 is 2. 2 times 18 is 36. So I got 36 over 3 minus 0 is 3. So the average acceleration of the particle is 12, is 12. So that was kind of a cool question. I really like that. You could definitely see that on the AP exam in the multiple choice section. And I have said to people, be careful of what they give you. What function did they give you? Did they give you position or, or velocity? And then from there, what are they asking you for? So you had to think your way through it. I almost messed this one up myself. So. Uh, Thanks for the hard work. If you have any questions or comments, please let me know. If you haven't already subscribed, please subscribe.